Hi, welcome back to another review in the Mighty Max Doom Zone series. Throughout the centuries, there's been many folklore tales of dragons, large mythical beasts that breathe fire, and there's been a lot of fantasy stories of dragons that have paved its way into many mediums of entertainment, from books, movies, board games, cartoons, so it was inevitable that the Mighty Max franchise would delve into dragon territory. And in 1992 it did, with the release of the set Doom Dragon. This one is a classic. This set is officially called Mighty Max Slays the Doom Dragon. Now this one was pretty popular with the fans, and back in the day it sold like hotcakes. The exterior is a green dragon head. It has this really nice reptilian scaly design. And this nice stroke of light green in the middle is a nice touch. You also got the nostrils and the teeth. As we open it up, we see a dark cavern. The bottom section is the dragon's lair, and the upper section is the altar. The majority of the internal colouring is this greenish greyish type colour for the rocks. It's pretty bizarre but it fits very well for the whole dragon theme. The internal surface is very rocky. Even though it's made of plastic, it still feels very ragged. There's also some nice usage of stalactites. As for your three characters, you have Max, this time with a backpack. We have our villain, Raven Dark, the sorcerer. His design is simple. He wears a black cloak and wields a sword. Very similar to those hooded goons of Lord of the Rings. And he seeks to sacrifice people to the Doom Dragon. And then we have his pet, the Doom Dragon. He's your typical dragon design. He's made out of good green rubber. He has the green skin, scaly reptilian back and a long tail. On the bottom floor we have the dragon's cave. Inside the cave, we have a lot of human skulls. It's obvious the dragon has roasted them. The majority of the rocky section is this greyish type green, and we get these occasional purple rocks. Since it's set in some sort of dark fantasy world, it kind of makes sense. To the west section of the ground, we have a boiling acid pool. Now this is obviously made by Sticker, but the drawing's pretty good. Kind of adds a bit of chaos to the place. <laughs> we got these two high rocks in the middle, and they hold a bridge. Now, attached to the bridge is a rope. Originally in the set, it did come with its own rope. Unfortunately, in time, it was lost. So I created this customized rope, which I've attached to one of the floorings in the upper sections. On this section, we got more skeletons. There's a pretty nice paint job on the skeletons. Simple, but well done. Here's a sticker indicating more fire, making the place look kind of hazardous. And to the left of the room, we have a wooden coffin. Yeah. You can consider this section the sacrificial ground. And at the highest point, we have Raven Dark's altar. You got your altar stand with demonic papers. You have his chair. And you have his collection of cursed books. The book coloring is red and purple. It stands out very well from the greenish interior. Now these books actually play a big part in the actual comic strip story. The story goes with Max entering the cave, and there's a writing in the cave saying, Max, the book shall put out the fire. As Max starts exploring the area, he encounters Raven Dark, who is in a very psychotic mood, who is seeking another human sacrifice. Max fires his slingshot at him, stunning Raven Dark, Max runs, proceeding with his mission. Raven Dark tries to chase him, but he's as slow as molasses. So he calls out the Doom Dragon. The Doom Dragon breathes his fire, trying to get Max. 
Max is dodging it. He makes his way through the bridge, up the rope. He gets to the highest point. He grabs the cursed book. Now Raven Dark is peeing his pants. Max throws the book into the boiling acid, and it causes the whole entire place to blow up into smithereens. And that's basically the end of Raven Dark and the Doom Dragon. Also, this playset did inspire one of the episodes for the cartoon series. The fifth episode in the very first season, Let Sleeping Dragons Lie. Now, the main highlight of the episode is the battle between Norman, the big Viking dude, and the Doom Dragon. It's pretty entertaining stuff. Now, the way this set closes is pretty easy. All what you need to do is get the dragon, store him inside the cave, tail first. Raven Dark stands over here. Just make sure he's standing straight. And Max over here. Then you close it shut. Yeah. The Doom Dragon set pretty much covers up everything you'd expect out of a dark fantasy adventure. You have your evil sorcerer, a fire-breathing dragon, human sacrifices, a hazardous atmosphere, and a lot of skulls. Yep, it's clearly 90s magic. Also, it's one of the best looking Doom Zones, both from the inside and the outside. Also, this set would be pretty useful to use if you're having a D&D board game night. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy the review, and I'll see you on the next one.